Welcome everybody. Uh, yesterday we were discussing about CSI fed induction motor drive and uh, this is the approximate equivalent circuit where we can uh, replace voltage source by current source and we can, we can show that rotor current is uh, directly proportional to the source current over here. And in this fashion, this is the torque equation in terms of a uh, uh, current source. So we can say that torque is proportional to current square. So in short, uh, uh, current source can control the motor. This is how we get different characteristics for different uh, source current. This is the uh, circuit for CSI fed induction motor drive. We can see that here thyristors are used uh, with uh, diode and uh, capacitors for turn off, turning off the thyristors and a large inductor LD is used in a series with the VD that is DC voltage source so that it can be converted into a current source. So these are the various features we have already discussed in our yesterday's class that diode and capacitors are used for turning off uh, inverter behaves as a current source due to presence of large inductor and the fundamental component is given by root 6 divided by pi into ID in short, by controlling ID, you can control the IS. This is how you can implement, either you can have a fully controlled rectifier and current source inverter. So here, fully controlled rectifier is controlling the value of VD and ultimately ID to get variation in IS. Or you can use a chopper if you have a DC source to control the output DC voltage. So that output DC current is uh, changed and so the source current fed to induction motor is changed over here. Right, so these are the features uh, which we have already discussed in yesterday's class. It is more reliable and uh, commutation failure cannot cause very high current because there is a large inductor present in series. Motor with low leakage reactancy is uh, to be used over here due to large LD and capacitors. This is a bulky and costly, used for very large rating motors only. So this is the comparison of uh, uh, VSI and CSI fed induction motor drives. So it's VSI fed induction motor drives are less reliable. CSI fed are more reliable. Uh, conduction of two devices in same leg due to conduction failure may cause dangerously high current if it is a voltage source inverter. While same cannot happen because a large inductor LD will automatically come in series in case of failure of the devices that is a commutation failure so the current will not be that large so here due to very high uh, current you require a very costly high speed semiconductor fuses while here you can uh, work with the less uh, costly uh, relatively slow hrc fuses because the current amount is not that high uh, it does not require special motor VSI by CSI requires special induction motor with less leakage inductance because here a lot of current changes is taking place. Large leakage inductance will have a large LDI by DT voltage spikes, which is dangerous for the insulation. Uh, this is a less bulky VSI fed DC, uh, VSI fed induction motor drives, less weight and less costly compared to current source inverter. Well, due to large inductor and capacitors, it is a bulky, heavy, and costly array. Uh, VSI fed induction motor drive has a higher speed range, while uh, CSI fed induction motor drives has lower speed range. Faster dynamics response in VSI fed induction motor drive, while they are slow uh, in case of CSI fed induction motor drive. Can be used for multi motor drive. Why CSI fed uh, induction motor drive cannot be used for multi motor drive. You need to have separate CSI fed in inverter for each motor. So these are various comparison points based on which we can choose, uh, we can uh, use VSI or CSI based per application. In short, if you summarize for low and medium power applications, uh, you use VSIs. And for very large power ratings, we generally go for current source inverter fed induction motor drive frequency current, right? So that's all for this particular topic.